Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show, Bumpy Big Squiggums here. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, for Might and Magic Heroes 7. That's right, Trial by Fire, we're about to go and do a bunch of murder, death, killing up here with Kari. And I think we're gonna backtrack. I, I don't know how immune to magic those guys are up there that we're getting ready to go face off against. But I might bring my Might Hero over. I might bring uh, Vilma over to see if she can't... She can't do the deed to clear that out. I mean, Kari's catching up on experience, and there's a shrine over here to get more, so eh, we might not have to do it with the magic guy. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's better with the magic guy. It just looks like it's a little bit of a challenge for him, so I'm not entirely certain. Let's, uh, we're gonna have to fight this one, of course. You know how it is. You know how it is. Well, you look pretty menacing. Not gonna lie. How menacing do you look after we do this? Still pretty menacing. I'm hoping that by the time it's all said and done, less menacing, but we'll we'll see. Oh good, you kinda leapt forward slightly. I guess that's okay. Um a tiny bit of damage there. Sort of want to go and take you on, but I'm probably not going to. Get four! Three. Eh, it's fine. Defend with you. Going to wait with you. Gonna see. Can we get the fire giant to close with him? Is he on a, like, a one tile thing? I feel like he should be more than one tile. But no, it looks like he's a one tile guy. Alright, well, can we move forward again? Nope. No such luck. I don't really want to take a shot at you. Alright, well, we'll be able to kill 14 of you off, and... I guess 3x that, and defend? Who are you going to go after? The bears! Oh, and you didn't even get through the bears! Oh no, it's a disaster, friend! It's a disaster. Donk Donk Slap times two. You can see close up, you're getting hit. Well, it's, it's a little underwhelming. I gotta say, the Donk Donk Slap does not look very impressive. Does not look very impressive. Alright, with three of you going down, actually, that's it, you're dead. Alright, so victory is ours. I guess no losses. It was looking a little bleak there when he made it to us, and he wasn't dead, but. Eh? We seem to have managed it. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Friendly creature to use the defend action will retaliate preemptively until the start of its next turn. Friendly creatures get a plus six defense against ranged attacks. Both of those sound pretty good. I think I'm going to go with the preemptive strike for now. Because if that ex exact thing just happened, we would have actually hit him first and weakened him even more. Which would not have necessarily been a bad thing. I wonder how much it's going to cost us. Is it done? Ooh. Aye, aye, Captain. I've seen them. They're talking to each other. Fingers crossed. By my beard. Watching them circling each other with sparkling eyes and never bloody doing anything was just getting painful to watch. I asked the people in Sudgard before we left. They've been doing this dance for 30 blasted years. Can you imagine? We did good, Captain. We did good. You got that right, matey. You can call each other Cupid, uh, Cupid and Cupid 2. It's totally fine. Alright, so they're uh, playing matchmaker there. Ooh, that's expensive. Um, you know what? Fine. Yay, we've leveled up again. We're heroes. Let's get some more defense on our side. What do we get for this? Eh, don't care. Alright, um... <laughs> I know it's a bit underwhelming. Eh, don't care. It's fine. Oh, we get to use that portal. Interesting. And we have to repair it to actually use Okay, that's cool. That saves us a lot of travel time. Alright, uh, black dragons, are they immune to all magic? Is that what it is? Dark. Only dark magic. Okay, so we can definitely wreck your face. Probably. I say all these things in, in earnest, but I don't really know if we're going to be able to do these things. Like, theoretically, yes. Actually, not sure. 
All right, I don't think he can close the. Okay, good, he can't. Um, we hit you with the fireball. I wanted to try this out, and I think the holy god, that was a lot of damage. And I wanted to see how the uh, follow up would do. Okay, well that is no longer as big of an issue as it once was. We can totally deal with the dragon. Come on, Tad Cooper. Let's see what you got, buddy. You almost burned to death. You're dead. Well, I think I've underestimated how much damage we actually do with the fireball. Maybe I should be using that more. Huh. Well, that was pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. I rather enjoyed that. Oh, goody. That was one thing we were missing, and now we have it, and I gotta tell you, I am super absurdly, ridiculously happy. Oh, good, and our magic hero can pass through here. Alright, let's go and take on the Minotaur. And friends. And yes, we're gonna have to start the combat. We're gonna have to go through the whole process of murdering everyone. It's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, well... Since Fireball worked so phenomenally well last time, I think we should lead with it this time. Boom! Yeah. Kind of hurt. A lot. Now that didn't hurt as badly, but I think you're going to see some after... Oh, did I use Firewall accidentally? My bad. I, I really meant to click fireball, but I didn't use my hotkeys. I just clicked, and I guess I just accidentally clicked the wrong thing. That's a little awkward. It's it's fine, I guess. It's okay. We'll wait. Come forth and, and declare yourselves to be dead by my hand. Soon. Not, not necessarily yet. You guys are just not going to come, huh? All right. Well, I will fire upon you from down here. Or over here, or up here, or whatever the case is. And we are going to get ever closer to you. We're just going to Oh, look at you. You waddled on closer. That's so adorable. Don't care. You're dead. Okay. And we'll put that there. And I think you're all kind of not going to be alive anymore after this. So let's see. Is that enough to kill you? I think so. Let's do it. Alright, now I guess we could hold our stuff here and then just nuke you with this. Kill you despite you being covered. I guess if I had to use like a little baby amount of mana. I don't, you know, I don't need mana. We can just hit you. There it is. There's that sweet thing. Alright, I will take this. Could actually stand to use... Stand to get a little bit more mana. I don't know how much we need for upcoming stuff. Thankfully, we're actually out of uh, movement, so we'll get a little bit of our mana back. But still, it would have been nice to not have to get our mana back. To have enough mana to continue all adventures. Alright, let's head on up and gather up the gold. Yeah, we do not fulfill the requirements for that. How much mana do you have now? 55? That's probably enough. Start combat! Alright, so... Let's begin the combat. We're gonna, you're going to get hit with the Blessing of Arcat. Sweet. 25 for the fireball. We'll take it. And it's going to do way more damage, right? Yeah, it does way more damage. And I'm just going to hit you. Because I don't need to cast other spells because you're going to die a horrible, awful death. Mostly due to burning, but also due to other various random things that are going to be painful and unsatisfying. And that's it. You're dead. Gotta say, a tad underwhelming. Alright, let's see here. Resources, 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 resources. 
And now it's time for the troop transfer. Give you these guys just for this one battle. We're gonna trust in the might hero to carry the day. And if we're lucky, we will be accurate. If we're unlucky, we will be wrong. We're gonna hope that we're accurate. All right, we can do that, and we're gonna come over here and be like, yes, repair. All right, so the repairing's going. We'll end the turn, and we will have Vilma come and do battle against you. And we'll get magic stuff. Ooh, implosion, that's gonna be fun. And some scrolls of resurrect. All right, let's begin combat. Let's hope that we have the strength, I think we do, to slaughter these guys. Oh, huh. Well, that's interesting. Um, okay, relatively big hit there. All right, I'm gonna go for another shot here. Yes, we're gonna do this. Let's go. Not bad ish, I guess. Well, I guess we're gonna take you out. This is probably gonna hurt a little bit here. Oh no. Ugh. That was brutal. Like your backside, do some more damage. It's a little bit unbelievable that they managed to get us on the backside there. Oh no, we're losing more. No, our babies. No. Dang. Well, I see why they had a um, a problem with this. I definitely see why they had a problem with this. Alright, well, let's kill you off. Um, not sure what we're going to do with you next. You are super dead. Actually, we can make it all the way down there. What? Man, if only you were faster, buddy. Could have done work. Could have done massive work. All right, let's kill off the 24 of you. Okay, next up on our to-do list is regenerating you. I guess we'll move you over here. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna put random stuff all over the place because of reasons. It's going to be fine. We're gonna teleport. Oh, I made a mistake. Over there, I guess. Run away! Run away! That there, we're gonna end up waiting with you. Oh no, and you're rooted, so you can't get away. No, the bare necessities, no! Oh, shoot him, shoot him! No! Well, at least we killed him off, right? I mean, that's something. Um, eh, maybe I'll move down here out of the way. Maybe, maybe we'll waddle over here with the big man himself and kind of defend, I guess. Alright, I don't know what else we have, what else we can do. Uh, celestial armor. Gust of wind you back that. This this way? Yeah, do it that way. Get gusted! That was so lame. I've never used that skill before. It was awful. Donk donk slap, get him! Still nobody inside the shield zone. Retreat! 
More. Shoot him again. No, don't hit him. Oh man, that hurt. That hurt pretty bad. That's okay. Well, we could kill all 80. You know what? Who cares? Let's just do it. So still a pretty brutal matchup. I mean, there was no way for us to defeat them without any losses. I don't, I don't think anyway. But still, unfortunately, we lost 17 of those, 17 of those, one and one. I mean, and the Shantiri uh, giant guy also got a laser beam blast of doom that was a crit. I'm like, are you serious? Like, that's not supposed to happen. What? I think, uh, I, well, I don't think we could have done it with uh, the other crew. Maybe. Maybe at the end of it we could have had it done, but I think it would have been pretty bad if we did. So, we'll take it this way, I guess. And we'll give you the resurrection stuff. And here's hoping that you survive it somehow. And I suppose we can give you these, uh, yeah, these hands. What else do we have? Didn't we have something that we were... Oh yeah, we switched back to the Rune Lord set. Did we have an offhand for that? No, we didn't. So we have, what, two of the four pieces? I thought we had more than two. We only have two, really? That seems a little underwhelming. It's not cool, man. Yeah, sure enough, we only have two. I mean, we also have an extra pair of boots over here, but nothing else is part of the Rune Lord set, I don't think. That's the Magister set. Dragon Blessed. Oh, we only gave one scroll to Resurrection. Let's give them both. Alright, and I guess we're ready to go through, but it's not active yet. No! No! Alright, we're gonna end our turn. And the thing is now active. We've touched the shrine, right? I don't want to leave without touching it. We've already looted everything. Alright, let's go on through. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back here. Who knew that we would end up in this particular spot? I think pretty much everyone knew this. Oh, there's more fire giants we can get. Yeah, we have a decent amount of money now, too. Recruit all. I don't want the upgraded fire giants. Sorry. I've literally no desire for those at all. None. Whatsoever. Alright, let's go on through with you as well, sir. Let's tag this up. Move here. Can you make it back up to him? Nope. But, you know, he'll, he'll deign to notice you and come down here and give you the time of day, and you can give him a bunch of fire giants. There we go. I like that. That's good. Alright, let's go. And there's some wonderful, wonderful little silly, silly minotaur that think they're going to be able to do something. Yeah, the seal is broken. Yeah, I know. The seal is open, and the battle commences. I mean, it's a super easy battle. We really shouldn't even have to fight it, but eh, whatever. They want to they wanna make us fight it. We'll, we'll take it, I guess. Alright, first up, I'm just curious, let's see here. We do 14, oh, we do 16 on those, okay. Now with Fireball, it says we're only going to do 9, let's see how much we actually do. We did 19, so the Fireball, despite it... Well, the double the... I don't, it, it's... Eh, whatever, it's fine. All right, let it begin. We're pretty much just gonna defend, wait, and murder. I mean, there's really nothing else to do. Kill these, this guy off with just ranged attacks if possible. And the other guy will kill with a fireball or something. It's totally okay. Defend, yeah, we'll wait. Defend, defend, defend. Murder and waiting on you. All right, let's get up on there and, and drop that off. Defend, defend, defend. Nuclear launch detected. Cannot cast fireball. I think we can. Goodbye. You're dead. 
Okay, and that was pretty much him getting blue slaughtered in a pretty big way. All right, sweet. Now we can continue onward. And we can trade for way, way more money if we wanted to. We can also get the teletrap stuff. And I think that we should definitely trade for some money. Because really, what do we need all this wood and stone and all the other random stuff for? We don't. That is the that is the short answer. I mean, technically we could trade all of it, but just in case we run into something, I don't want to sell everything that we've gained. So, we're going to keep a little bit of it back. Alright. She's on her way up. We'll end the turn. Guess we'll peek around the corner here. Elemental Conflux and all sorts of stuff. What's that? A mysterious Crypt. What? Grab this stuff up. Grab that. Guess we can grab this. Don't really care about selling artifacts. What does a Golden Feather do? Permits casting of the Light Spell Gold Dragon once per combat? Huh. Might use that in combat then, if I can remember to actually do it. Agony is a spell we can gain. Cool. Pick up that, and we'll start heading up here. It looks like we're going to have to go and do battle with that little group of guys in the very near future. All constructs and undead get plus two attack and defense. The weak of the lifeless. Cool. Let's grab you and you. Can we learn agony? We cannot. Let's get you and you. Did we touch this yet? We did. Alright, let's do battle, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do battle. Alright, so you're melee, you're all ranged. Fun. Should be simple enough, though. I think, anyway. Because what we're going to do is fireball in the middle of the two. These two right here, well... These two right here... It's gonna do a lot of damage. Not actually as much as I thought it was going to do. That's okay though, and we're gonna Fog Shroud you. And then we're gonna put our defensive thing down, we're gonna defend, we're gonna, I guess, just casually cast this over here because of reasons. And then we're gonna put this over here as well because of reasons. That's a weird line there. It's very strange. And then we're going to kind of murder you. We'll probably suffer a little bit here, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. Shoot 37 of you. They are waiting. You are burning as well. You're going to defend and you're going to also burn. Or defense. Oh, I have them backwards too. Awesome. Well, hopefully the regenatory deal will actually work for them. And it will make them super strong and awesome. I don't know. That's my hope anyway. I go once again with another fireball, which should pretty much end them. Yeah, it pretty much did. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and kill you off the rest of the way. It'd be a little bit sad that we don't have the other thing in the right position. But I had a different plan originally, so I suppose it makes sense. Alright, let's hit the noob guy at the bottom. 81 of them dead, I'll take that, and an additional 25? 23. Alright, let's go ahead and buff you guys up. Let's wait. Let's... I guess shoot you again because of reasons. Defend, defend. I suppose we can just kill you. You're dead. If you attack, you're probably all gonna die as well. Yep, and that's it. So we lost three of our babies. Probably should have used the regenerator thing. Eh. I we're getting to, close to the end of it. I'm not going to start splitting hairs at this point. I think we're, we're good enough that we don't have to do that. 
All right, let's move forward. Let's end that. Is the bridge ready to be crossed yet? It is not. We're going to have to end the turn again. All right. I'm going to lead the way with her just for right now. Now looks like we're going to go take a peek down here. Trust me, Lord Agrail. King Hathor is nothing but a stupid brute. He won't understand what we're planning until it's happening right under his hairy nose. It's about time that Runt pays for the death of my beloved brother. The plan is sound, but can you see it through? Your people, your clan, have disappointed the Sovereign before. The Soul Scars will prove worthy of this alliance. This time, we will uphold our end of the bargain. I hope you will, Silsai. For your sake. For your sake. Alright, so be it, I guess. Is everything alright, Lord Silsai? There's something about Lord Agrail that upsets me. Something familiar. I can't quite put my finger on it. And even Molasses' whispers remain silent. He is Carbellet's envoy, a knight of hell. And you really want to know what secrets boil inside his damned soul? You may be right. I must return to Conos to oversee the last preparations. You know what you have to do. All right. I witnessed this meeting. There was no room left for doubt. The dark elves were on the move and they had allies. If I may add something, Lady Vilma. You might remember Lord Ivan. The story of the Blades of Erebos. After the death of Lord Menan, his twin brother, Silsai of the Soul Scars, was quick to seize control of Igchal. But while Menan had forbidden any pact with the forces of Shiog, his brother had no such scruples. He was a willing ally of the demon sovereign. Kar Beleth needed agents on Ashan to further his plans, and the broken Dark Elves were perfect candidates. Huh, interesting. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Lost dwarves walking right into the demon's den? Oh, shite. How eloquently put, my name is Agrail. And I'm afraid you will all have to die. He's too strong for us. Everybody, run! Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh. Well, that doesn't seem good. Reach Grimhine on the other side of the Vantir Mountains. Defeat Darkstorm, the enemy blocking your escape. And some seriously dark Juju Magumbo is going to be going down here really, really soon. But we're out of time for the episode, so you guys get to, well, pine for more while we figure out our escape plan here. Uh, looks like there's an ancient shrine. Oh, we're probably going to have to do that, aren't we? Well, it looks like we have some serious uh, problems. Oh, God. Are we going to be strong enough to deal with that? It looks like it. He's magical. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This looks uh, this looks a little bit menacing. Not gonna lie, it looks like that we could have quite the challenge on our hands here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is a tale for another time and another episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed up to this point, and I will see you guys. Ooh, I will see you guys in the very next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.